Welcome back. And thanks for joining us. What does it take to sell your house? I know. Yes, Brett? Price, condition, and marketing. Nice one. I know. I nailed it. What about price? Okay. If you watched our last video about the appropriate pricing strategies, this will give you some more insight. But basically, if you have a price that is appropriate to the comparable properties that have just sold, you're more than likely going to get some activity. And what about condition? Ah. Condition, the rule of thumb with that is eliminate all the things that you can that are potentially wrong with the property. So that gives people no reason to discount on your price. An example of that would be if there's a stain on the carpet, yep. you should have your carpets cleaned. Otherwise, a buyer will come in and think, first thing they think of is, I need to replace the carpet. Yeah, and guess where that's coming from? The, the price. price. <laughs> Okay, and, good. Then, good. and then what about marketing? All right, marketing is about your exposure and what it looks like when people are looking at the property. So things like professional photography, floor plans, 3D tours are really, really important to get people excited about coming to see the property. Absolutely. If, if you've missed on that, you're not gonna get as much activity. And then of course exposure, because yes. you really do want to get as many people to see it before actually letting people in to see it. That's right. Have it sit on the market for a little while, then try and group the people together as best as possible. Yep. Uh, and that creates some excitement and urgency. Yep. So those three magical yes. things should get your place sold. Yep. All right, so if you like what you see, hit the like button. If you wanna subscribe and see more of this, of course, go ahead and do that. And if you know someone who's interested in this type of thing, please share. Have a great day.